What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tommy and I'm a Harley-Davidson Master Technician here at Darling Downs Harley-Davidson in Toowoomba. Today's video, I'm going to be building a 131 cubic inch breakout, the uh, Stage 4 kit from Screamin' Eagle. Now, I know what you're thinking, another 131 cubic inch build but this one's just a little bit different. Uh, it's got a very solid bottom end going into it and uh, a few other little bits and pieces there, just making it a little bit different for this customer in particular. Now the reason we're doing this, um, this upgrade to the bottom end is because uh, this customer likes to do this sort of thing. Now, after all that, and all the carry-on that goes on with doing fourth gear skids and a bit more carry-on, this happened. Mmm, a little bit out of specification. So I highly recommend a maximum of 12 thousandths of an inch of run out. As you saw there, there was uh, 42 thousandths, so about a millimetre of um, of run out there far too much so to be sure that we're not going to have any problems down the bottom end we're going to be using this crankshaft now this crankshaft is a stock crank however it has been that the pin has been um, plugged so it's a little bit stronger it's been trued up so we've got zero run out and then it's been welded up so this thing is not going to move uh, the pin the, the plug there is adding a little bit more strength, so it's just, yeah, it's, it's a much stronger crank. The, uh, the rods themselves are the stock ones, of course, and look, no issues there yet. Um, maybe under boost, uh, high boost, that sort of thing, we might be looking at a, a, at a better rod, but these particular cases, uh, these standard rods are absolutely fine. Guys push well over 200 horsepower out of these things, and I uh, haven't seen any issues yet. Now just to be sure, with the compensator, I will be upgrading that to the uh, Cycle Rama billet compensator ramp, just for that added security, because I know this, this bike is going to be ridden a fair bit harder than uh, most of the other ones around. So that's going in there to secure that. But look, back to the 131 kit. Uh, quick look at it, just for those guys who haven't seen it or they don't know what's, uh, what's included or involved. We get the beautiful CNC ported cylinder heads from Screaming Eagle. Outstanding, just beautifully finished. Larger valves, bigger valve springs. Uh, they flow much more than the stock head. Of course, we've got the unique uh, Screaming Eagle laser etched uh, logo on the side and the unique uh, Screaming Eagle badging and stage four badging as well. Also, uh, to feed the big heads, uh, we've got the 64 millimeter throttle body and intake manifold combo. And the kit also comes with 5.5 uh, GPS fuel injectors to deliver enough fuel for the big 131. Uh, of course, we have four inch, 310 thou cylinders and pistons. That uh, gives us our 131 cubic inch displacement with our four and a half inch stroke. And uh, again, guys, with this one, just because I've had so much luck with it in the past and it delivers a very broad torque curve that's very usable, the thing sounds great, we're going to be using the Cyclerama CR512. I've used this cam in uh, numerous other builds, 131 builds, so uh, if you want to check those out, the link is uh, down in the description. But uh, with this one, yeah, we're using the 512. Wes Brown from Cyclerama has specifically designed this cam for the 131 kit. Uh, he's designed it around the compression ratio and the flow rates of the head, so it works absolutely outstanding. So I know that it's going to deliver the perfect package for this customer because I know exactly how he rides and what he wants to do with it. So let's get this thing together guys and put it on the dyno. I've already got this thing pulled down and cleaned up. So uh, let's get it together and uh, get her on the dyno.
guys. clear a few things up so no one gets upset because dinos are pretty you know upsetting for some people the bike's been warmed up it's been heat cycled a numerous amount of times the, the power of youtube vested in me has allowed it to just swap scenes from the bench to the dyno so some time has passed between then and now so we are going to put in a, a tune that i have done on other 131 engines with this same camshaft the exhaust is different so we'll have to tune that but the tune I know is pretty good straight out of the gate. So I'm going to put that in, sneak up on it, and just see what it's doing before we really start to lean on this thing. So let's get into it. it's tuned up so before we take a look at how much power it made uh, let's give it back to the customer let him fire it up and uh, take it for a ride and see what he reckons I reckon it's that loud oh it's good
yeah. Well, pretty easy to see there. Customers absolutely stoked, and so am I. The, the way the bike came together uh, is really, really good. Uh, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, customer definitely is. So let's take a look at the uh, dyno graph and show you what it made. Let's look at the graph there. Beautiful torque curve. Nice, smooth, very usable torque everywhere. That's 120 foot-pounds there, and then it just goes north. So, And our power curve, look at that, just straight straight up beautiful torque uh, horsepower and torque curves there horsepower maxed out at 140 and our torque you can see there i'm going to call that 145 foot pounds of torque so i'm stoked with how that's came together really really smooth and uh, user friendly to ride on the road no surging no jugging around that sort of thing just very very smooth to ride so fair bit that comes from the tune as well but the way the cam is ground for this particular combination with the, the factory CNC ported heads and this displacement works a treat. Wes has done a great job of it. Uh, and of course, this these things can make a little bit more power with a slightly different exhaust. You've seen I've had different exhausts with this same combo, made more power, but that is absolutely outstanding. It sounds great and it goes well. I'm gonna chuck in a quick clip here of uh, just how much fun you can have with 140 horsepower. So as you can see there guys, plenty of fun to be had with 140 horsepower. Uh, these combos do make uh, a little bit more with different pipes and that, but look, with 140 horsepower, you can do fifth gear skids all day long, no worries whatsoever. Uh, I'm sorry America, but I'm pretty sure the planet knows that Aussies do the best skids. I mean, <laughs> we just love a good skid. I don't know what it is, we just, we just we love it, all right? But uh, look, Thank you guys so much for your patience between uh, the uploads. I know it's been some time since my last upload. Uh, I'm not a full-time YouTuber, guys. I'm a full-time mechanic, and uh, I, it, I struggle to find the time after work between family life and everything uh, to do the editing. So I appreciate the patience, the positive feedback, and the support across the channel, guys. So thank you very much for sticking around and checking it out, and I'll see you guys again real soon.